Uh, welcome back to episode 7 of the Railroads Online track building tutorial. In this episode, we're going to build a corner between these two points of the switches. Now, it has to be built forwards and then built backwards to be able to get the track to meet up with the same curve. But before we do that, I noticed in what we put in in the last episode, there is actually a wobble in the track here. So we need to repair that. And to start off with, we'll put some extra groundwork in here. And then we'll delete the switches and the cross tracks off the end. Oh, we want rails. And we need to delete this last little piece of wobbly track. And then continue this curve. And it was on 25. Continue it for one extra segment. Now you can see that's taken the wobble out of the track. And we need to remove the cord. Now, this piece of track that runs along here is now actually five splines. And it doesn't need to be five splines, and having extra splines will cause more load on the physics engine. So what we'll do is we'll turn it from being five spines back into being one spine. And to do that, we come back over and we start right here at the start and connect to every single control point along the track. all the way through to the end. Oh, we've had an error there, look at that. We missed. I do not think that that will affect what we're building though. So we'll have a look and we'll see. Okay, now before we right click to end that spine, we'll come back and get the the rail delete tool and we'll click over here and hold and drag and drag it across the entire track and that will delete the track that's out from underneath and that will remove the entire spline all the way to the end okay and then we'll right click it in and now that is a single spline that runs all the way along we still have got one piece of rail that is in the middle of this cross track and we shall delete it. Now what actually happens when you delete a segment out of a spline, it doesn't turn it into two splines, it's still a single spline, it only hides the segment that you delete. Now we'll get away with this because we actually need to remove two of these off the end to get us pointed in the right direction there. Okay, now we can put the switches back on the end of here. One for the distance track on the end oh, there we go now deleted and we need to exit to the right hand side so that we can get our cross track on the end here which is the start of that corner and then measure back again to get our distance Cross track on the end. Delete that cross track, delete the switch, and now we'll put the, the actual switch we want to use in, which will be that one. Turns to the left with the stand on the right. And there we go, that's removed the wobble out of that curve. And this piece of track in is one spline. Now to get this to meet up, we're actually going to build it forwards this way. Oh. And it gives the switch menu. There we go. And we need to come forward a little bit first. One, two, three pieces. 
I reckon we start to turn about here, so we'll come up to five. And we'll start putting it in our 25s. I want to try and keep the tightest corner in the yards at 25 degrees per 100 foot. So they're not too tight and, and they will be tight enough to get us around where we need to go. And you can already see here that we have missed on this corner. We are a tracks width away. So what we'll do is we'll end this piece here and come back to this piece and build it again, back the other way. Put on the alt lock and come out here. And you can see we need to start smoothing this track so that it meets up with the other one. And we'll start off with a three. All right, let's make it a four. And then on our second piece, we'll go for a I reckon a 15 or 16. We'll go for a 16. And then on our next piece, and this is just trial and error to get this to meet back up again. We want to try and stay to the inside of the curve so that we can open it out by the time we get to the other end. And you've got to try and make sure you get the track definitely flat. You can see we're starting to move across now and now we can start opening out of the curve so we'll go back to a 16 no i think that might be a little bit too much try a 20. and now we can start connecting to the control points of the previous track and we want to go to say a 12. make it a five and then we want to turn off the alt lock and snap to the joint and snap to the joint and we come over here get the track out of the way and get rails click and hold here and drag the delete tool over the track to remove the first track that we put in gotten at all because we don't want any of those um, previous segments of track underneath all the way to the end now we can right click and end the spline and there we can see that we have got a it's got a tiny little wobble in it I don't know why I've got a little wobble in it but this end here looks good so what we can do to fix the tiny little wobble in the track is we can build back again the other way. And we'll use the same control points again. So we'll start off here, click to that control point, put the alt lock on, and there we can see the wobble. So while the alt lock's on, we can actually nudge these points to the one side. And you can see there we need to nudge that point there. And now we'll start to turn into the corner. And that's a seven it wants us to put in. And then on the next segment, we'll nudge it over a little bit more. And this is where we can use our quarter percents to try and get it somewhere on, on. there we go, nice and neatly in the center. Now we'll turn off the alt lock and again, build it all the way through to the end so that it's a single spline. Using the control points for the previous track that we laid down that was nice and straight. And under there, and under the last one. Now before we get press right click to finish the spline, start the delete over here and delete the track out of the middle. Here 
we go. The track we nudged over is now straight. And right click to end the spline. Yes, that looks much better. Sometimes it takes a couple of goes of pushing the control points left or right using the alt lock. And that's the time alarm up. And we have ended up with a neat 25 corner between the two switches. Now I'll do this corner, which is exactly the same method on this side here. I'll do that off screen. And then in the next episode, I will continue at the logging camp because we have to get the target points in first. These are the spots like where I'm standing here at the logs drop off. These are the points that have to be at the spot where they must be at. And that's the same for cranes or any drop off point. Those pieces of track must be where they are. So you build them first and then what you connect between them can be anywhere. You know, as long as it's straight and it's smooth. But the, the, the target points have to be built in first. So this is as, about as much as we can build here until we know the target point at the other end and start building back to connect onto this. And the same for the cranes. We can't put that target area in until we know where the items will drop on the ground so that we know that we have the track centre of the, the crane's hit, hit, uh, the hit box. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.